It's my pleasure to welcome you to the MIX program for our Autumn 22 season. In this program, we are going to have a company premiere by Alonzo King called The Collective Agreement. I'm excited to introduce Alonzo King's work to Canadian audiences. His impact on the dance world has been extraordinary. For 40 years, he's been the artistic director of Lions Ballet in San Francisco, and the company has traveled and performed internationally for all of those years. His impact on the greater dance community, on audiences and artists alike, has been like no other. It's an important work, it's the start of a relationship, and I'm excited for you to experience for the first time Alonzo King's collective agreement with the National Ballet of Canada. The largest art is the art of living. How do we live life? How do we make our choices? How do we develop a consciousness that's expansive, but also a morale? And so in, in dance, when you're making choices, it's connected to morality. So all of those things are values, and they're all connected. We begin with me, myself, what I want, my likes and dislikes. And with maturity and experience, we evolve into we, we, the collective. And with more maturity, depth, expansion and experience, we merge into the oneness. And so in the collective agreement, there is the idea of good faith, that we're here to help each other on planet Earth. And so if your interest is to change the world, to better the world, where do you begin? With yourself. We're doing it in ourselves as individuals, and then we're doing it collectively. And that's really what the ballet is addressing. Jim Campbell is a brilliant designer. He has installations all over the world. First thing in that ballet, the dancer is observing the light. And so because the dancer is observing the light, what is it telling? We are also beings of light. And dancers who are intuitive, they knew that anyway. Now Jason, Moran, working with him was like looking for the partner that I wanted for a long time. To have someone create music for you, because what music is our partner as well as dancers are musicians. Their instrument has to be what we all have in common, a body. <laughs> it is a wonderful, auspicious moment when you have someone who is going to build a world with you from the very beginning. That's one of the beautiful things about dancing, is you become the idea. You don't portray it. You actually have to step into that consciousness and when you see that, it is one of the most beautiful things. When you see a Swan Lake with someone really transforming, it's life changing, or, or any ballet. Vanessa Montoya is a ballerina with Les Grands Ballets Canadiens, but she's more than that. She's also a choreographer and an incredible artist. She started a work here over two years ago called Crepuscular. It had its Harbour Front debut last summer, and we are thrilled to be bringing it to the main stage. Crepuscular is Twilight, and this ballet, to the music of Chopin, explores relationships and is a beautiful, touching ballet that we're excited for you to experience. I do not try to create things that come easy for me. I try to research new pathways and explore stuff that is not necessarily easy, like I'm new at it too. But the more I explore, the more I find ways to do things. Uh, in the piece there's not an, a specific storyline or narrative, but it's true that I'm very inspired by the twilight, or like the nocturnal atmosphere. The title of uh, Crepuscular, because it's uh, related to twilight, or it can also be used to refer to something uh, that has a nocturnal um, quality to it or that is like unlit. I had this thought of uh, individuals uh, going together through a journey into something like unknown. Also I use like very uh, romantic and expressive music with Chopin. 
and I love classical music because of how expressive it is. So uh, we can see like kind of uh, moments of tension, maybe anxiety, uh, but also we can see the complete opposite, like tender moments, like very soft, even like a little bit more uh, uplifting, uh, more like dreamy state. Uh, the thought sometimes of being alone by yourself, it can be quite overwhelming, you know, like even if you are a very independent person, we all need to feel kind of like part of like a group or having some sort of extra support you know for those times that we cannot just stand on our own so I think we can see that a little bit and for sure uh, there's a very strong element of humanity I think that's where all my choreography is based on is coming from very simple like human situations and actions and feelings is something that helps us to connect as artists when we're performing it but also like to connect with the audience. So Kenneth Macmillan's Concerto is a full company work that the National Ballet of Canada has not performed since 1990. So I think Concerto shows another side of Kenneth Macmillan in that unlike the big dramatic story ballets that we all know and love, this is really pared down and the simple quiet elegance of the choreography, his use of humor and his musicality, you really, I feel, get a sense of the emotion of the man outside of the story. It also has some really challenging dancing. <laughs> it has some really challenging choreography, which is always great to bring everyone together, to have a community experience on stage as a company. And it's Kenneth Macmillan. It's just divinely musical. It's a glorious celebration of the classical form of the technique with a cheeky wink at the end. I, I just, it's one of my favorite works. I look forward to welcoming you to the theater and to enjoy this exciting mixed program. <laughs>